Throughout history, there have been individuals who have left a lasting impact on their era. Pericles, a name associated with the greatness of ancient Athens, was undoubtedly one of them. His accomplishments are essential to Greece's golden age, a time of numerous political, artistic and intellectual advancements. Today, we explore the life and works of Pericles, one of the most influential Greek politicians to this day, as we know it from Thucydides, Plutarch and other historians. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to Hellenica's YouTube channel to stay connected. In the description you will find many helpful links, including your Udemy discount for Learn Greek and my book Stories to Learn Greek. In 495 BC, the wealthy Athenian politician Xanthippus and Agaristi, a descendant of the noble Alcmeonid clan, welcomed their baby boy into their family. His name was Pericles, which translates to the one of exceeding glory. According to Herodotus, a few nights before the day of his birth, Agaristi dreamed that she gave birth to a lion cub instead of a human. This fact can only bring Alexander the Great to mind, whose mother had dreamt that her womb was struck by Zeus's lightning. Indeed, with a glorious name and a symbolic dream right before his birth, Pericles was said to be one of the most glorious individuals in the world. His name is remembered to this day. Growing up, it was obvious that Pericles was a natural-born leader. He was not only charismatic, but also well-educated. Thanks to his family's fortune, of course, he had the privilege to study next to great philosophers such as Protagoras, Zeno and Anaxagoras. He was also a talented musician, which increased his overall popularity. On the early steps of his political career was his association with the democratic leader Ephialtes. Together, they worked to reduce the power and influence of the aristocratic council of the Oropagus, which had held significant sway in Athens. Their efforts led to the Ephialtic reforms in 462 BC, which curtailed the authority of the Areopagus and strengthened the democratic governance of Athens. The ancient Greek politician has since been remembered as one of the most democratic figures to have ever existed. Pericles later held various political positions, including serving as a strategos military general and a member of the Vuli, the Athenian council, he consistently advocated for the interests of the common citizens and played a pivotal role in shaping Athenian democracy during his time in politics. His ascent to leadership continued, and by the mid-5th century BC, Pericles was the de facto leader of Athens. He held the office of Strategos for numerous years, making him one of the most influential statesmen in the city's history. The Greek historian Thucydides was an admirer of Pericles, however, not everyone liked him. Plato, for example, has quoted Socrates saying in his dialogue Gorgias that Pericles has made the Athenians evil, cowardly, talkative and avaricious by starting the system of public fees. Pericles is also known for asserting Athenian control over the so-called Delian League. That was a type of confederacy of ancient Greek city-states led by Athens and based on the island of Delos. It was founded in 478 BC to unite the Athenians and the islanders of the Aegean Sea against the Persians. However, it didn't take long until some of the islanders became dissatisfied with the League due to the common funds being used to upgrade the infrastructure of Athens. Indeed, Pericles initiated a building program to restore various temples that had been destroyed in the past by the Persians. 
during what is known as the Golden Age of Athens, various architectural wonders appeared in the city. These include the marble temple of goddess Athena, known as the Parthenon, which still overlooks the city of Athens from the Acropolis Hill. Although Pericles is now remembered positively for the Athenian building program that resulted in the creation of such marvelous works of architecture, he is often blamed for a strategic move that resulted in catastrophe. That is no other than the Athenian war against Sparta, which, according to Plutarch and Thucydides, was initiated by Pericles. The Athenian strategos was alarmed by the power oligarch Sparta was gaining and viewed the city-state as a threat to democratic Athens. As Thucydides describes in the history of the Peloponnesian War, the growth of the power of Athens and the alarm which this inspired in Lacedaemon, meaning Sparta, made war inevitable. The Peloponnesian War, as it is known, lasted over 20 years, and it was separated into three phases. It caused at least 18,000 deaths in the battleground and an unknown number of civilian casualties. In 404 BC, the Spartan general Lysander demolished the walls of Athens, and the war resulted in the end of the Delian League. Athens and its allies were now ruled by the so-called Thirty Tyrants. In 403 BC, the Athenians overthrew the tyrants and democracy was re-established. The financial, military and moral costs of the war, however, were obvious. Despite that, during the war, Athens continued being a cultural center. For example, the events inspired in numerous ancient Greek plays, including the famous Lysistrata by comedian Aristophanes. Regardless of the result of the Peloponnesian War, the costly building program and the dissatisfaction of the Athenian allies over their taxation, Pericles is still remembered as one of the best political figures in the world. His democratic reformations have inspired modern politics, and his focus on education, the arts and philosophy has made Athens a major cultural center over the centuries. His name is associated with the classical period of Greece, which has influenced the West as no other. Our modern civilization's respect on the arts, history, philosophy and science can all be attributed back to this era, with Pericles leading the way. Pericles lived a long life next to his wife Aspasia and had at least three sons. He departed the world of the living and reached Easter of Emea, in 429 BC, after contacting the mysterious microorganism that caused the infamous Plague of Athens, a pandemic that killed a quarter of the Athenian population. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to unlock your Udemy discount in the description and learn more about my book Stories to Learn Greek. See you again! in the next video.